Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Pure, Pure Gamer here, back again with another video, and I am kind of upset because I just recorded the video and I fuck I didn't save it properly, so of course I have to fucking re-record the episode. But it's whatever. I'm gonna try to briefly sum sum up what happened. It's not really a plot summary. It's just me kind of uh, summarizing what I said about the episode. Let me fucking get into it. What, what happened is... it's Alright, whatever. Today we're going to be reviewing episode 18 and the title for this episode is A Day in the Life of the Uzumaki Family. And of course, as you can already tell by the title of the episode, it's basically just following the events of just what Boruto is doing this entire day and the events of Lost will also happen to the entire Uzumaki family. E episode starts off Himawari sick. Boruto notices a picture of the day that Naruto became Hokage, and then for those of you who already seen the OVA, uh, it's uh, you can go ahead and, and skip this entire part of the video. It's whatever. But if for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm gonna try to briefly summarize what basically happens. Uh, late at night, Naruto comes home. Uh, he's drunk, and then. Uh, he kind of just passes out and then it's the next morning uh, they're getting ready to go to the inauguration inauguration uh, that's what I meant to say for Naruto becoming Hokage uh, Boruto Himori they wake him up uh, Hinata has to go and get uh, the formal attire for Naruto to wear uh, for him for when he becomes Hokage uh, they start to get ready to leave but Himori and Boruto start arguing with each other Himori wants to bring a stuffed animal, stuffed bear, whatever. They argue with each other. They both pull on one end. It rips in half. Himawari gets pissed off, awakens her Byakugan, and starts beating the fuck out of Boruto, basically. Naruto jumps in front of uh, Himawari's attack that was supposed to go towards Boruto. But because this is the series that we all grew up with, Himawari hits Naruto straight in the gut, and then he's knocked out for the rest of the day. And so, for those of you who saw the OVA for Naruto becoming Okage, you know that uh, Konohamaru had to use his transformation jutsu to basically impersonate as Naruto uh, to make sure that he still had to become Hokage. The rest of the episode is basically uh, after the whole uh, uh, flashback. Uh, Naruto, not Naruto, Boruto's pissed off at Naruto because he's not there. Is whatever he's pissed off that he's Okage and bullshit whatever I don't fucking know. Uh, Naruto shows up. He's uh, you know caring about his kid who's sick obviously. Uh, Boruto and Naruto start arguing what they're gonna eat for dinner. Hinata throws them out because they're being loud and rudy or whatever. And it was very Kushina like, and I really liked that because I liked Kushina. Her character was very different from everyone else. Or at least similar to everyone else, but also different at the same time. I liked it. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, Naruto invites Boruto out to go eat. They go out and eat at Ichiraku Ramen, um, the shop. And what's hilarious is that it's like a full-fledged uh, like ramen shop now. Like it's a whole restaurant, and it just expanded upon just Naruto always eating ramen all the time. So I I guess there's a plus in that. Teuchi isn't there, which sucks because he's the ramen guy the ramen guy that we all love and enjoy but he's not there not anymore and that is unacceptable studio Periot, get get to working on that we need the we need teuchi back because he's the best ramen guy i'm gonna i'm gonna summarize what i thought were the funniest moments uh in this rest in the rest of what happened the second half of the episode they're waiting to get the ramen naruto is is like this brings back memories this is even where they went on their first date this is where he went on his first date with hinata which was interesting i guess boruto's just like oh, whatever whatever right uh choji gets there um apparently they're trying to do an eating con he's apparently he's trying to do an eating contest with his daughter i guess for this title that's that someone had won 
I guess it's I don't really know I don't really remember what it was called like the queen of gluttony whatever um, it turns out Hinata ate like a whole total of 46 bowls and she's like the, she like I don't I don't know how to explain it you have to watch the episode for yourself because it's it, it makes more sense and it's more funny if you if you did and it's just it's hilarious it's the end of the episode nothing else really happens I tried to summarize the episode as much as I could to my capability because I had already recorded this episode or this video before and it didn't work out it didn't save properly and I'm pissed off I'm still a little bit pissed off if you guys enjoy whatever there was in this episode this video I keep saying episode I apologize if you enjoyed the video for whatever reason drop a like you know drop that that like on this shitty video and also consider hitting that subscribe button of course if you're brand new and yeah see you guys later hope you guys are having a fantastic day peace out